Okay, hello, sorry about that. Everything's looking good. So let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Funny and cool, I would just see you walked off totally like this setup. That's the best part about it. Right, let me just turn this music down a little bit. There we go, that's much better. Okay. There we go. Um, that's actually cutting off quite a lot of those edges of the game there. And I don't know if it's the capture that's doing it or the game perhaps. Just bear with me one second. Just little things uh, setting it up. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> Megs. T S T S T T S T S T S T S T S T. I like that. That's good. Right. Oh, there we go. So, it must be just resized a little bit like that. There we go. Assuming that's doing everything correctly. Let's have a look. Enjoy the... <laughs> Is that supposed to be my sprinkler, my uh, Megs? So, thank you all for being here. I would love to point out uh, the cat leaning against the wall, but you can only just see her ears just about there. Oh, she's gone. And she's led down. She's down by the floor. So... Megs, I hope you have a good time at work. I know it's going to be crap, but you can do it. You'll be okay. And thank you very much for the 50 bits. Hopefully I'll see you again later on tonight and we can play some games together. Neko, don't worry about uh, lurking. It's amazing that you're here. I hope you managed to get some good sleep. Okay. 
And Dal, I know you've gone to get food, but enjoy your lurk. Right, so anyone who's here while we're playing the game that wants to join in, all the Pokemon that we catch are going to be getting a nickname. And you are very, very much allowed to choose its nickname if you like. Are we going to have baby screen for Pokemon? <laughs> the, the little tiny screen up top for Pokemon is best I can do for now. Um, I don't know how loud the music is for the game, but we'll see how it goes. Um, please let me know if it's too loud. But let's get in. See, that, that sounds a little bit loud for me. I'm just going to mute the actual music properly this, uh, so we can hear it. Okay. So far... We have whatever he's called. Um, he's not Monferno. Oh yeah, he is Monferno. So we've got Monferno named Spyro. Um, so this has been named by Holly Huckleberry. Uh, in fact, all of the first part of this game was done in Discord with Maple, um, maybe two, three weeks ago. Yeah, we're probably coming on three weeks ago. There we go. That looks pretty well caught. Let's hope that stays well like that. But yeah, so it was all caught about two, three weeks ago. Uh, so we've got Monferno named by Holly Huckleberry. We got a Luxray named uh, named by Maple. <laughs> we got what's that one called? Uh, Staravia named by Owl. Well, named for Owl. <laughs> we got a Geo dude that we named Dwayne. A Magikarp that was named Sushi. Uh, a Badoo that is called Robin Sparkles. <laughs> Although that one was a mistake. Uh, they thought that it was a Bidoof, not a Badoo. Um, so yeah, that's uh, everything that we've got so far. We have a few more uh, in the computer uh, and at the moment we need to level up a little bit and then I need to figure out where I'm supposed to go because I haven't got a clue with this game this is all new to me we've already got a Bidoof I don't know what it's called but uh, because we've already got one we're not going to uh, get another yet if at all by the way, Mr. Matt, I'm so glad to be able to catch you online before I head to bed. Neko, I'm glad to have you here. I hope you enjoy your sleep. Don't worry about trying to stay up. I'll do my best. I'm literally going to play until I start yawning my head off, at which point that's when I'm going to uh, call it because that could be an hour from now, it could be two. And I just generally want to train my Pokemon up a little bit and then go for the next gym. When I was first doing it in Discord with Maple, um, Maple spent about 40 minutes re-downloading her game while I was leveling and heading towards the first gym. Once she got hers downloaded and started up and everything, she managed to get to the gym before I finished. <laughs> But she was doing a Nuzlocke, so the Nuzlocke was just... Oh, I thought that was going to level up. 
The Nuzlocke um, doesn't really appeal to me. I don't mind the renaming Pokemon part, but I've not played um, Pokemon Diamond or Pearl ever. So it is all new to me. And I'd like to just get the best out of it for myself. So Spyro should le level up. Yep, Spyro's level 18. I don't think Spyro uh, evolved now until level something like 34. If it's going by the old traditions of Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow or anything like that. Because old, uh, old traditions were they evolve around level 16-ish. Uh, for the first time and then they evolve again at level 32 4 and 6 I think Blastoise was the one to level at 36 but could be wrong really made you wait and at this point I'm just murdering Bidoof's and Starlies I think they are I don't know Starlies too well So, I haven't got a clue where I'm supposed to be going. Where did you come from? Nope, don't know that person. Oh, here we go. Ah, Mr. Matt, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, why must you be so difficult? We are approaching you stri strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Mr. Math, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. <laughs> no, I think that's a bit too much. But let's battle together. This is the first joint battle that I've had. You are challenged by Team Galactic. Um. Well, I was unaware that there was a fight going to be coming, but... I'm going to use Ember um, and I'm going to get rid of the bug because the bug is weak to fire. I mean, apart from being like seven or eight levels above it as well, that, that also helps. Dwayne's going to level up soon. Oh. Yeah, let's get the... Uh, Ember right of the way again. Get the Zubat. Zubat gone down! Okay, Dwayne. Yes, Dwayne got a level up. That was easy. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. We shall leave. Okay, benevolent. Uh, when Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Mr. Matt, well done. You battle quite capably. See, seeing you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with a Pokedex. Mr. Matt, did you know? The Professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. 
So, Mr. Matt, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Oh, okay. Bye. Don't say bye or anything. Oh, who's this? Whoa, what was that just now? That was amazing. Those guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. Whew, it's like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's Beeb, and I work as a system administrator in Hearthome's Hearthorn City, east of here. Now as for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give you these ball capsules to you. What are ball capsules? Now you can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. You can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on ball capsules. Okay. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule and it'll look pretty, really pretty when it uh, bursts open. Okay. Stickers will also give you an edge in the super contest shows where I live in Hearthome City. So try to collect a bunch. Okay. I'll be honest, stickers aren't really my thing. I think I fought these already. Yeah, I did. Ooh, okay, we get a fight. Of course you may. I would like to fight you. Lass, Lass Samantha. Do, 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 a buddy. You are no match for a Spyro. Get him, Spyro. Okay. Not not a fight to brag about or anything, just simple. Oh, you're so strong. Really? Oh, okay. Straight into a wild fight. Uh, Cricketot. We have a Cricketot. I think it may have evolved. But it's... Um... um <laughs> I can't remember what... Uh, what Daywalker called it. I'll have to have a look at the um, Pokemon Center soon. In fact, speaking of, we haven't been back. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. So we've got Jiminy. Um, it was Cricketot, so I don't know what its name is now. But let's have a look at its stats. Cricketune. So it was Jiminy Cricket Heart, and now it's Jiminy Cricketune. <laughs> uh, we've got an Abra called J. Uh, we have an Onyx named Phonix. And we have a Psyduck called Sonata. I'll let you guess some of the references. Oh, actually, yes, so... We need to figure out which Pokeball we want to choose. Uh, we'll go with Spyro. Um, um, bursts of blue flame. Small black hearts that float upwards. Swirl of yellow ribbons. Puff of black smoke. Pink bubbles. Blue flame. Yellow confetti. Flower petals. Um, magnetic field. And rock fragments. Right, so it's a fire type, so we're going to use that. Eh. 
eh, that will do. So, we need to go to the Pokemon Center and heal our Pokemon. As soon as I can remember where the Pokemon Center is. Please don't say this is a gym. Actually, no, it's not. I don't know where that is. I think the Pokemon Center is on the right hand side. That's the Mart. Here is the Pokemon Center. Yes, please. Okay. So they're all healed. Oh, we still can't go this way. Why, thank you. GWS still isn't ready. Um, can't do anything here, I don't think. Yeah, this is just a fishing stage. what I wanted. It is 8.33. The time is part of the reason why I'm also playing it. Uh, because I only ever see um, nighttime Pokemon otherwise. I don't know who you are, sorry. Yeah, because of the night shift, I only see the nighttime Pokemon usually. So now is a good time to uh, try and actually get some daytime. Okay, so there was the blue uh, burst of blue flame. It was only small one. Right, nothing major. Cricketot was easy enough. All those blocking the way inside the, yeah, Pokey Etch. We've got a Pokey Etch, which is good. Uh, let's go this way first. Why, did, why is it Bidoof that's doing the Rock Smash? Rock Tomb, okay. A sma gotta smash them all, gotta smash them all. I know it's not really doing anything, but I just want to do it anyway. Well, we got a free item from that, but that's all we got. And we haven't got that light on. There we go. Let's get our light back. Wow. Okay. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have one type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against types it's weak to. Yep, that's why I've got a load of different ones. Thank you for the tip. Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. Uh, sounds like this is going to be a grass type trainer. Uh, we're off to a good start. Yep, we do. We are winners with a fire type. Uh, 
Uh, gained XP, but no level up. Oh, Cherubi. Uh, no, we're not going to switch. We're going to carry on using um, Spyro here. Okay. I'm waiting for more of them to level up. Can't get angry because it smells so nice. Awakening. Okay, so we've got an awakening. Looks like we've got twins up ahead. What's your opinion on bug Pokemon? They're weak to fire, so great. Lawful, welcome in. Thank you for being the first person here. Hey Lawful, you actually missed out on redeeming first earlier on in Owl's stream. I beat you to it. Granted, I also didn't see you there, so that could be the reason why. Good to have you. How are you today? Okay, Crick Top dead. I mean, fainted. Come on, Robin Sparkles. You gotta level up. Wormpole, yep, we're going to do the same. Fire type. Level 7? Oh, any day that I'm first somewhere is a good day. I'm not picky. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I, I can't redeem it myself. <laughs> Actually, I probably could. I just shouldn't. That would be unfair. Got some. Got to do some things, but I'll be lurking. Dude, not a problem. Majority of the people that come in on these streams uh, when they're so late on are lurking. I don't blame you. So feel free, sit back, relax, and enjoy the casual leveling up until I drop. Okay, I'm not going up against those twins yet. They already creeped me out. This is the shining all over again. Um, we're going to just keep using the ember. Starly fainted, yep. Easy fights. They're all going to be easy at this point, actually. I think it's going to be a while before it uh, starts picking up. Oh, look, another Shinx. We've got a decent Luxor. Is it Luxor? I think it's Shinx, Luxor, and then Luxray. But we've got a decent one, so this will do. Why? Okay, so there's a hidden passageway there. We're the strongest in our class. Twins live and Liz. Live and Liz sent Pachorisu. Never heard of it. Go, Spyro and Maple. <laughs> well, that's good. Their attack fell. Um... None of them seem to have an advantage, so screw it. You can have Ember against Pachirisu, and you can have... Yeah. What type of Pokemon is uh, Parachisu? Screw it. Take a bite. Give him a chomp. Uh-oh. Keep your quick attack to yourself. Oh, I 
was half expecting that to beat it in one. Take my bat. No, bite didn't take enough damage. Okay. Um, well, Ember's going to beat that one straight off now then. Okay, right. Baby doll eyes. That would creep me out. What is he doing? Okay, we got rid of one of them. Maple grew to level 16. Oh, should have stuck with Bite. It's alright, we'll know for this next time. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, but wait! Oh, I got 1,152 for winning. That's not bad payout. Oh, more free Pokeballs. Bullet Seed. It's a shame that they can only be used once. journey between towns there was a lot quicker than I expected it to be so let's get that thrown in and healed okay so they're all restored so look at the PC with is it the same? Beeb. Yeah, let's have a look at Beeb's PC. Do I want to replace Robin Sparkles with... Um... Oh my gosh, how does that work? Oh, how does that work? There it is. Uh, do I want to replace Robin Sparkles with uh, Phonics the Onyx? Or we could go for J. Oh, we could put Sonata in. Actually, yeah, I think we'll replace Robin Sparkles with Sonata. And we'll get that Sonata leveled up a little bit. Oh, what they're saying. <laughs> See, clutch berries. Who are all these people? Ah, I was half expecting one of them to want to trade something is a shame but that's okay Flo Floroma a town of flowers flowers and more flowers that's good to know you should plant some flowers of your own too yay for flowers I wanted to get some flowers from Floroma Meadow. But some Team Galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. Really? Oh, another fight. I want 
I want to fight them, but... Oh, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks. But the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. They're dressed like space aliens. What a description. It's more accurate, too, because it's from a kid. Okay, I'll battle you, I'll get rid of you. I was half expecting to be fighting that little girl just then. Let me out! Please be a decent level for some XP. Uh, 11's better than nothing. Almost one hit. Uh, we'll hit him with a scratch so we're not wasting an ember. More than enough to just finish them off. What is it with these guys that are only carrying one Pokemon around? They couldn't stop anybody. What a git. Um, where are we going? Have we got to fight these guys now? We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in Eterna Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma Town. We are also using the energy of the Valley Windworks for something. But that is of no concern to you. Um, that's lovely and all, but how about I fight you? Can I only talk to them about that? because that's painful. Ooh, Pesha Berries. Not that I really used any of them. I'll have to investigate those a little bit. Uh, Chesto Berries, whichever ones those are. Um, Where's next? Because I'm just thinking we can't go through the tower. We all. Oh, can we fight her? Or she just. Uh, no, you can't fight her. Um, sweet scent of honey. Yeah, whose house is this? Town is barren, desolate hill long ago. People started planting flowers on it because it was such a sad place. Aww. But nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. And then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. And then the whole hill burst into bloom. Okay. The fairy person. Okay. TM88. It never actually told us what TM88 was. And I'm not asking. Who are you people? That's 
good to know. That we can um, see them instead. Uh, would I like to exchange my berries for some stickers? No, thank you. Wow. Trainer, please water berries using the spray duck watering can. Hey, so we get a spray duck. Hey, duck's getting everywhere right now. <sighs> so, the yawning and stretching has just started, which could be a, that's an en entrance? Which could be a bad sign. Oh, what's going on here? Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What'll we do? We can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. Yikes. Challenged by the Team Galactic Grunt. Oh no, he's sending out a bug type. To be a shame if I had a fire type. Easy. Owl grew to level 16. Sushi grew to level 13. I can't wait to be able to use Sushi soon. Uh, so Silcoon is next. Silcoon is also a bug type. Weak to fire. Should be weak to fire. Watch this, it won't be. Oh no, there we go, super effective. Okay, Spyro leveled up to 19 and Dwayne le leveled up to 15. Okay, Spyro wants Flame Wheel. What moves do we have? 60 and 100. Uh, I think we're going to get rid of the Mac Punch. There we go. Dwayne grew to level 15. Are you learning anything, Dwayne? No. Dwayne is staying how he is. Dwayne the Brack Johnson. 6.48. That's not too bad. They're going to dock my pay. I'm next. Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you gives me the edge. It would have done if they actually managed to do any form of damage at all. Say so, Zubat again. I wonder if he'll have a goal bat. And yep, we'll throw an ember into the mix again. Easy enough. Sonata grew to level 9 and wants to learn Fury Swipes. Okay, let's have a look at the other moves. Oh yeah, we'll just get rid of Tail Whip. It's Tail Whip. One, two, and ta-da! Sonata felt, I forgot Tail Whip and learned Fury Swipes. If only I had some decent Pokemon. Level up your Pokemon and it'd be fine. Tougher than I can put into words and I know a lot of words. <laughs> We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Is this the girl's daughter? Uh, father even? Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. 
Yeah, just give a, a random key for a uh, business away. Thank you. You surely saved me. Surely you can't be serious. These goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What were they saying? Didn't uh, what they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? Oh, so we get a free jar of honey that I don't know what to do with. Uh, you put it on a sweet smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. Okay. That's actually good to know. Are there Pokemon in these flowers? No. Yes. Two. And you can't jump over the ledge there. Just a moment. All right. It may be that I'm going to be going off in, I don't know, about... 15, 20 minutes or so, depending on how bad I get at the moment. Never know, I might get a little bit of energy. But for the moment, we'll stay hydrated. We'll talk to these random people. Can you see how they're more vivid than flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. Lovely. Okay, so I have no way of getting up there yet. I assume a path becomes unlocked for us later on. I don't know. Um. Let's go a little bit. Oh, we've been down here. Right, so these guys are useless to us yet. We're going to have to go into the tower, fight our way through, just like going up against Giovanni in the first one. Good chunk, we're in. Door to the Valley Windworks opened. What? No way! You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. There's no time for self pity. I got to alert the commander. Quick, chase him and punch him. Send Matt to arrest him. I am fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. <laughs> Cascoon. It's another bug type. Cascoon down in one. Nobody leveled up. How can I mess up your job, pal? Okay. Um, oh yeah, let's go fight him. I want to fight every single one of them. Let's 
So they're collecting energy by the sounds of that. Come on, Spyro, get out there and ruin him. Okay. No switching. We'll stick with Spyro. Glamio. Glamio. Ker-chow. <laughs> I like that. Gaming one. Sonata grew to level 10. Um, we've got plenty of money for winning. Okay, who are you? Who's this one? Team Galactic's three commander. Okay. Trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Um, I don't trust these people to be the kind that would actually leave when they're supposed to. I'll be quite honest. Go on, Spyro, I know you can do it. Effective again, so we're going to use Ember as much as possible because they're only going to have a zoo uh, a couple of zoo bats or similar like the other ones have been having there's no reason for me to go for anything other than ember for the moment and i'm sorry to anybody if it looks like i'm falling asleep because uh, that's because i am <laughs> so my apologies I'd say we clear out all of this area and then we'll leave it at that. I may come back on again and carry on later today. Maple leveled up to level 17. Very respectable. Perugly. Okay, that's the um, Glamio evolution, I think. I could be wrong. It seems to ring a bell as the Glamio one. Oh, we're confoozled. And you used Ember. Well done. And it was useless. So let's get a power up punch in there. Oh. Come on, Spyro. Forget being confused. Let's get a good hit in. Oh, it's pushing. Oh, snapped out of confusion. Power up punch. Yes. Okay, so we should be able to beat it with another power up punch. Oh, never mind. What did you just eat? A berry. Power up punch again. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, Perugla is defeated. Hey, Dwayne leveled up to level 16. Sonata, Sonata grew to level 11. Sushi is nearly at level 14. Not quite there yet. Oh, Dwayne's learning, learning rock throw. Cupcake lover boy. Cupcake lover boy raiders. Welcome in, everyone. Yeah, penis. <laughs> Uh, welcome in. Thank you for coming along with the raid. <laughs> uh, good to see you. Um, we're just doing a little bit of uh, training up and grinding. I don't really... I've not played this before, so it's just a matter of le like learning the way through. I've never played Pearl or Diamond. 
So how was your stream? What were you playing? And just before I forget, I'll give you that. Hello, Dr. Oldman, Mr. Mad Bob, man, Dr. Sir. I know you're very new here. <laughs> you're very, very new here. Mitzi, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Um, so, Cupcake Loverboy, thank you very much for coming along. Feel free if you need to head off and and not rest up or go and grab something to drink or eat or anything like that. Don't even worry about having to raid and run. Um, very good. Had a good time. Was playing Minecraft. Then I streamed Dead by Daylight. Okay. Did you have a, a good time on DBD? It's like I've, we've, we've all pretty much got DBD now thanks to Epic, but I've still not played it. Or he did and didn't. Ooh. Um, I don't know, rock polish, drag sharp releases, speed. I think we're going to go and get rid of rock polish. Had to carry him. <laughs> oh dear. That's okay. Um, my buddy Matt and I, I mean, I'm Matt, I have a buddy Sir Matt as well. Um, we have started playing police stories as a little co-op uh, effort we did the first stream on saturday just gone where at first he was carrying me and then we kind of switched places where i started carrying him for some bits and i'd never played it he had um we're going to be carrying on doing that again this saturday coming up so if you want to see police stories on a co-op feel free to um you know join us again um, we do also have uh, a Discord in place that we're setting up as a joint Discord between um, two, potentially three mats. Okay, we got Rock Throw instead, and Sonata has grown to level 11. Anything for Sonata? No, nothing coming from Sonata. I lost, you annoying brat. <laughs> CLB is literally backpack on a human. Oh. <laughs> right. Oops, I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Are they going to... Ah, oh, I should have fought the other one before they left. I could have done with that XP. Edge. Team Galactic, they were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe or so they claimed. Oh, is this where the whole uh, Palkia and Dialga come in? Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Okay. Oh, there she is. Papa. Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. <laughs> stinky. They had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Balloon Pokemon? That's Drifloon? If that's Drifloon, that's going to be my first ghost-type Pokemon, I hope. Actually, let me talk to him. Will he give us anything? Oh, it's always a certain day. Is that the one that appears? I think that's the one that appears on Friday. So I may have to do that one Friday morning, if I remember right. One of my friends was mentioning it, which is my way out. There it is. Okay. Um, run through a bit. Oh, I don't have one of those. Pachirisu. Now, if anybody would like to name this Pachirisu, we are going to attempt to capture it. Um, we're going to switch to Sonata. Seeing as Sonata is one of the lowest levels.
Uh, baby doll eyes. Oh, I don't like that move. It's creepy. Okay, we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use confusion. Yes, attack fell. Okay, so confusion's quite. Hello, decent. Dr. Oldman, Mr. Mabop, man, Dr. Sir. I know you're very new here. <laughs> you're very, very new here. Cupcake lover boy, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you enjoy it here. Um, do you, would you prefer me to call you Cupcake Lover Boy, or I can call you CLB? Uh, confusion one more time, and I should be able to capture it. Yes. Yes, right. We should be able to capture this. We will just use a Pokeball. There's no use in using a Premier Ball. I'm gonna head out for the night. You can call me whatever works, my friend. Have a good rest of stream. Thank you very much for coming in. And once again, thank you so much for the raid. It's lovely having you here. Take care of yourself and get some rest. Okay. We gained XP, XP. Sushi gained, gone to level 14. Um, okay, so anybody want to name this uh, ele electric squirrel? That's why it was unaffected by the um, electric type moves. Anybody that wants to name this has an opportunity now. Otherwise, I'm just going to call it a knockoff Pikachu. Oops, uh, B to go back. Here we go. We're going to call it a knockoff Pika. Uh, we'll send that to a box because I don't want to carry it around with me for, no for the moment. But we will see what else there is in this because it can't all be just those. Weasel. We haven't got a Buizel. And we've got to add it to the Pokedex. Um, no, we're going to switch again. Let's go to Sonata again because I feel like putting Maypole Light against it may be a problem. Electric versus Water. Side Duck Sonata. Okay, so defense is down, but we're going to use confusion. That's alright. Keep dropping our attack. It just means that we've got more chance to capture you. Okay, one more confusion should uh, get us that. Okay, confusion. Don't crit. Do not crit. Oh, you cr Why would you crit? Jesus. Fine. So Owl's leveled up to 17 and Spyro has leveled up to 17. Oh, 20. 20, sorry. Uh, Spyro. No, nothing special from Spyro being at level 20. That would have been nice. Uh, speaking of... Let's have a look at just healing up our Spyro a little bit. 60 health. Um, I would say we may as well use that Super Potion on Spyro. 49 points. That's easy enough. Right, let's keep an eye out for another Bweasel. Otherwise, we're just training. Um, see how many levels. Oh, we haven't got Shellos. Yeah. 
Um, right, Shellos. Again, we're going to have to switch to Sonata so that we don't kill it. But this time, maybe we won't use Confusion twice. Okay. Okay, so we use Confusion once. Okay, looks like we're using it more than once. Um, I feel like I could use Fury Swipes. Okay, maybe not. Fu um, the Swipes don't appear to be doing all that much. And Shellos is avoiding attacks. Oh, I'm going with Harden. That's not good. Um, Shellos a water type, isn't it? One more confusion. Do not crit. Come on, we need this. Just so we can capture it. There we go. Best chance of capturing it. We don't want to waste our Pokeballs, you see. We've got 26 more Pokeballs. Shellos was caught. Okay, Sonata grew to level 12. That's good. Oh, you want Water Pulse. Right, let's have a look at what you've got. Um, so Water Pulse is a 60 and 100% uh, accuracy. I feel like Water Pulse would do quite well with replacing Water Gun. Yeah, we're going to replace Water Gun. There we go. Sonata has now got a stronger... W yep, and we caught Shellos. Um, I want to call it Shelby. There we go. Shellos the Shel Shelby the Shellos. Okay, we still need that Bweasel. Because we haven't got a Bweasel in the decks. So, a little bit. Okay, come on. Bidoof, you are just for training. Uh, let's use a power up punch. Maple, how are you? It's good to see you. Um, it's 1 a.m. and just finished dinner. Maple, you've got work. Just finished dinner though. <laughs> That's not good, Maple. You had to eat, I know. Maple, sorry, I wanted to ask you earlier on, how far did you get in um, playing Diamond? I mean, I've only beaten... Well, I, un I left off where we were before. I think I caught uh, a Psyduck and called it Sonata. But that's all I did afterwards. I never had the time to go on. You've gotten a quite a few gyms, so I'm fairly behind. So hey, look, we got a Psyduck that we, we named Sonata. Ocean Town next. Right. I, I'll be honest, I'll probably not get that far today, but um, see how I do. Chances are I may only be able to keep myself on for another half hour to an hour. Um, I do have to go to bed myself. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to try and play a little bit of this on stream every now and again. And just 
kind of try and keep up a bit. Also, Maypole is now level 17. I don't know what level um, looks. Uh, is it Luxor? Luxio. I don't know what level Luxio evolves again. So we're, we're getting somewhere. We leveled up a few, quite a few in this past few, like, fights. No, I went and fought a lot of the grunts. And Monferno's doing quite well as well, also. I don't know why I'm trying to be careful, because I've already got a Shellos. But yeah, Maple, it's lovely to have you here. Um, I do think you should uh, get yourself off to sleep, though. <laughs> Power punch. Okay. Right. So, we're after a weasel here because I tried to catch one earlier on and accidentally killed it. Psyduck uh, did a crit and I'm not very happy about, about it because if it hadn't crit, we would have been able to capture it, which is a shame. There we go, a Buizel. I don't know what we're going to call it. Okay, Pokemon, we're going to switch to Sonata again. Oh, it's a good thing Sonata's able to take that hit. That's nothing, that's okay. Okay, Sonata, let's get some hits in. Okay, no crit. Do not crit. Oh, that was good. Should be able to capture it. Yes. Come on, first time. I don't think I've had to use more than one Pokeball on a Pokemon yet. Which is really good, I'd say. Okay, nobody's leveling up. Weasel. Um, I don't know what we want to call him. He's a floating otter, so I want to maybe call him Flotter. <laughs> no, that's just silly. Yeah, actually. Flotty. Flotty the floating otter. Nothing special. I'm not going to be using it very much. Okay, and we're going back to the river, uh, the gap here. Hello? If you slather honey on a sweet smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted by that sweet scent. Is this a sweet tree? A uh, bag. Um, blah, 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 blah. Nope. Honey. Use. Okay. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to use it on a tree. Oh, another fight. I don't know how I'm supposed to use it on a tree. I thought that tree might have been the, uh, the type to use it again. Camper Jacob. What have you got, Camper Jacob? A ponytail! I want to capture your ponytail for Maple. 
That's the slithering in me coming out. <laughs> oh, Ponytar's taking more than one hit. Battle of the Flames. Hmm. Really? Growl? Wait, why does it why doesn't Ember affect Ponyta? It's still a fire move. If it's fire move it was effective against me. Never mind, I'm just gonna use the punch. Okay. No level up. Okay. Really dampened my spirits. I'm sorry, Camper Jacob. What have we got in this area? Let's have a look. Another Shellos. I don't know if this is the same area as the one before. So we might just get the same Pokemon in here too. Yeah, that doesn't do anything, that's good. But does reduce my accuracy. Uh, we'll just use a scratch to get rid of the rest of this. There we go. No level ups. Barely any XP from that one, which is okay. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a hiker coming up. Yeah, I think all of these are the same as uh, the last area we're in. Power up punch. Take this. Down in one. Excellent. Still no level ups. Oh, I was coming to you, pal. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Haha. <laughs> Here goes. You are challenged by Hiker Daniel. Okay, he's got a uh, Dwayne the Geodude. We're going to use this, the power up punch. Uh, fire moves aren't going to do anything, are they? Oh, he took out his Geodude in one hit. That's what I like. Sonata grew to level 13. Psyduck Sonata. Uh, so he's going to use a Machop. Machop. Mm, not too fussed about going up against the Machop. Can't remember fighting's weakness, to be honest. But I'm sure that uh, Power Up Punch will still hit fairly decently. A magic card named Sushi. V, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're having a good uh, good night. Is it day or night for you? Sorry. Maypole, you grew to level 18. And you want to le learn the move Spark. So let's have a look at what we've got. And yes, V, Magikarp, I can't wait for it to reach level 20 so we can get um, Sleeper since it's 1.30am. Yeah, so you must be uh, Pacific. Um, so, Spark, you are 65. Um, I'm going to switch out um, Charge for Spark. Yeah, so we want to get uh, sushi, uh, sushi evolved, um, so that then we can really put it to you to like good use. But at the moment, I think it's still only got uh, splash. <laughs> uh, another Geodude, so no, we're not going to switch. Geodude's going to go down in one again. Come on with a power up punch. 
And we need to go to a Pokemon Center real soon. Spyros, attack Rose. You haven't made the mistake of adding sugar to my tea, which I don't usually do, so I'm waiting for the slight sugar rush to go away. Oh, V. Rookie mistake. I'm with, I'll be honest, I'm only doing this while I'm waiting for myself to fully drop off. Once I'm fully dropped off, I'm going to be raiding somebody and then going to bed. Um, I finished my night shift about two and a half hours ago. But I need to work off uh, a bit of the energy drink that I had earlier on. I was struggling in work, so I needed to get through. Uh, he's using a Bidoof. Okay, no. Uh, we're going to keep Spyro out again. Power up punch again. Excellent. But yeah, V, I hope you manage to get the sugar rush out of the way soon so you can go to sleep. Dwayne, the Geodude, has leveled up to level 17. Excellent. Dwayne, the Rock Johnson. Or Geodude. Might call him Dwayne the Geodude Johnson. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is another um, camper. Do, do. Zachary. Okay, camper Zachary. Sent out a Geodude. Uh, everyone's sending out Geodude. Mm, power up punch again. We'll keep them coming. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm slightly surprised. Hit by a sandstorm. Oh, he's level 14. Okay, I get it. It's fine. The uh, mountain hiker, or the hiker, his Geodudes were only level 11. So, that was ki that's kind of good. Just a reminder that you're not really that far up in levels. I love Pokemon that smell sweet, like this one. Get a whiff of this. I don't want to sniff your Pokemon, thank you. I will battle them. Aroma Lady Elizabeth. Another one with a Badoo. Okay. Um, this will go down in one. There we go. Instant. Insta kill. Okay, Spyro is now at level 21. <laughs> Did you understand what I meant? Did my Pokemon smell nice? I'm sure they did, but I'm not in the habit of sniffing Pokemon, I'll be honest. X attack, that's always good to have. I don't know why that little stage there is empty. Fight me, almighty fighter! What kind of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? Do, 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 do. Picnica Sienna. With a Shinx. Intimidate. Okay, so attacks dropped already. Um. It's only level 12, so I suppose we could get away with a flame wheel. We need to spread a few of the moves around now because we're getting a little short. Oh, yes! So Shinx is taken down in one hit. Uh, 
sushi grew to level 15. Five more levels and sh uh, if I've done... Oh, sushi learned tackle. Sushi's more useful now. Uh, Pachirisu. So let's switch Pokemon to Dwayne the Rock. Uh, Dwayne the Geodude Johnson. There we go. Pachiri Suit. We're going to use Rock Throw. Hopefully, it crushes the competition. <laughs> rock Throw. Ooh. Okay, not as effective as I thought it was going to be. But still not bad. Okay, that one was less effective. Uh, stay away from my Geodude. Really, you're not his type. Okay. So Rollout just keeps going. That's cool. There we go. Ooh, Sonata leveled up and Owl leveled up. Owl wants to move, uh, learn Endeavor. So let's have a look at the move. Okay, so it's a normal type move. Cuts down the target's HP equal to the user's HP. So if my health is 100, then they will lose 100. That's not a bad move. I think I would replace double team with that, actually. I think it's because of charm. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was more expecting charm to be a kind of move that would lower defense rather than attack. Sonata grew to level 14. Nothing special for Sonata. So, I'm shocked. How did I lose? Yeah, I was expecting um, Yes, we'll take the RM berries. I was expecting something like Charm to drop your defense more than anything. Because that's the kind, of, uh, the kind of thing you'd expect from a move called Charm. Pesha berries. A Pokeball! Okay, so there's nothing else under there. We can't go up that way. Got a bit of grass. May as well go up here and continue our journey across the bridge. Oh, another hiker. Of all places possible, I've lost my way here. Ooh, Onyx. Okay, so... We'll use a power-up punch. And... Once we beat Onyx, if we need to switch, we will go to Side Duck. We'll get Sonata out there. Hey, don't you be uh, raising your defense. So I would like to get to the next gym and defeat the gym leader before I finish today, but we'll see how I do for being sleepy. Fun fact about Onyx, the smoother the rocks on its body are, the older it is. Oh, it's weird. I actually, that's one of its, um, is that one of its Pokedex entries? I kind of remember that, but I don't know where I've heard it. But it's a cool little fact, is that I like it. 
Nobody leveled up. That's a shame. I would also imagine it also counts because um, by logic they'd be uh, smoothing out their, uh, their body the entire time that they're alive, making them smoother and smoother. I would, I would assume that's what it is. Not sure what entry it was since someone told me it. Oh, it's okay. Sounds like a decent entry though. I've, I've heard of quite a few decent entries when it comes to some Pokemon in these. Some, there's some really questionable ones as well. Some um, unexpected and kind of weird ones that I've uh, come across. I think it were, there were a couple of ghost ones that are a bit creepy. Um, I think Hooper was one of them, possibly. But I don't remember with Hooper. Um, Ghastly Haunter and Gengar were fine. Burnett, maybe? But I like I like my ghost types as well. Drifloon will kidnap... Yes, that's the one. Drifloon's one of them. Uh, kidnap any child that it grabs onto its strings. So, yeah, there are a couple of them that have really creepy backstories to them. Fight me! I'm assuming she's a lass. Let's find out. Mm, Battle Girl Kelsey. Okay. Match up. Um, we don't have a super effective against matchup because I don't remember what the super effective type is against fighting. Um, phantoms are children who got lost in forests and died there. Holy crap! You see, phantoms are new to me. I've I only recently heard about them from playing Pokemon Go. So that one's very new to me. And I didn't know the Pokedex entry for it. Oh, here we go. Go die, bot. So, let's see. Yeah, I can't remember what the weakness is for fighting types. Which is okay. It's, everything else is working fine. Repel, that's always good to have a repel. Another fight me, please. Should I play a little? Okay, Picnic -a Karina. They all seem to have good little, uh, like almost unique names, which is pretty cool. Uh, Piplo. Uh, we're weak to Piplup. So, I feel like we need to use the power up punch and then maybe switch to Maypole because Maypole needs to uh, be a th uh, is electric type, so that's going to be effective. Scratch, seeing as we're out of PP for um, the power up punch. Do, 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 do. Okay, Dwayne the Geodude Johnson is level 18 and wants to learn Smackdown. Let's have a look at what that is. Okay, 50 with 100% accuracy. 50 and 90. So do I want to replace Rock Throw with that maybe? Oh, I could replace it with uh, replace Rollout. That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's have a look at replacing that. So we've, we've gone from a 30-90 to a 50-100. Okay. okay. Dwayne, the Geodude Johnson, you are definitely getting some better moves. We just need to start using it in fights. Okay, what's in the house? 
You think you can get and turn a forest by yourself? Maybe. You seem to be tired. Rest a while. Yay! So now we've just healed up. That's exactly what I needed. Because I was just thinking I need to go back to a Pokemon Center before I carry on. Yay! We are refreshed. Super Potion. Good to have a Super Potion lying around. Many poison type Pokemon make a turn of forest their home. Oh, it's going to have um, poison types. I'm looking forward to that, actually. Okay, I don't have cut yet. Or hidden moves. Um, I'm assuming we can't get down there, which is fine. Well, let's go into the forest. Hello there. My name is Cheryl, and you are Mr. Matt. Sincerely glad to meet you. Mr. Matt, may I ask you a big favour? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'll be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? I decided... Didn't even ask me. We're going with Cheryl either way. Okay, so she's going to keep my Pokemon in perfect health, which sounds good to me. Yep, you should have loaded up on the uh, Pokemon. Okay, we got a free antidote here. What are we going to get? Oh, Wurmple and a Silco uh, Cascoon. Oh, she's got a chance here. Lovely. Uh, so we're going to switch here. We're going to go to Sonata. And we're going to try and capture both of these. If we're lucky. Disarming voice. String shot to reduce attack. Oh, Chansey avoided it. But Psyduck's speed harshly fell. And Cascoon has just used Harden. Cascoon's defense has raised. Okay, let's use a confusion against the Cascoon because Cascoon. Although uh, it's not the higher level, it seems like it's got, going to be the stronger or the harder one to defeat, having um, Harden. Okay, we should be able to capture the Cascoon now. It's impossible to aim unless there's one Pokemon. That's a bit crap. Okay, Cascoon's defeated, so we're getting the Wurmple. I'm assuming we haven't had a Wurmple. Okay, we're not going to bother at all by the looks of it. That's a shame. But next time. And this battle will most likely give us a level up for our uh, Sonata. Get Wemple beat. Okay, Chansey, I need you to do uh, a decent hit. Okay, or not. Okay, let's find out. 
whether or not we can hit this worm pool without killing it. We'll just use a simple scratch. Tis but a scratch. Probably going to kill it. Yep, down in one. That's fine. There's going to be plenty of other opportunities. And Sonata is now level 15. And wants to learn Disable. Um, let's have a look at what we've got uh, with us to get rid of. If any. Because it just and removes the move, doesn't it? So... Nah, for now, I don't need to worry about Disable. Okay, keep going. Oh, it's another Cascoon and a worm pull again. Okay, we're going to take out the um, worm pull straight off. Instant. Chansey might be able to knock a little bit of damage into this Cascoon. Uh, Maypole just. Um, you think you recognize this area? Yeah, this is uh, one of the fo uh, the forests. Uh, Maple grew to level 19. Oh, avoiding the attack. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it and just see if there's any possibility of capturing a Pokemon. Uh, capturing it without it being damaged. There's a specific thing in this area. Oh, okay. What kind of thing, might I ask? Um, I'm about to come to a little rock that's hidden in the middle of a, a section of grass. But beyond that, I haven't seen anything else yet. What? Okay, I was going to say, why are you fighting a uh, little blank space, but it doesn't. Okay, so that's Cascoon defeated. The rock's a spot to evolve a certain Pokemon. Oh, okay. So this this rock here. Covered in moss. This might sound silly, but is there any chance that it's an Eevee to be evolved on that rock? Because the only Pokemon I know that requires, like, moss... Yes! Um, I know that one from Pokemon Go because it gets you to use um, a Pokelure, a mossy Pokelure, to be able to evolve it. I'm glad I knew that one. I'm going to use Flame Wheel against Cascoon. I've given up trying to capture these Cascoons. Oh, next one will level up. Possibly. Hmm. Flame wheel. There you go. A Salamonson and Jim nearby only has six hundred and sixty six CP left. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny, I like it. Okay. Plenty of fights going on here. Oh, a Badoo. Oh, we've already got a Badoo. It's the worm pool we haven't got. I thought you normally yeah, I've caught the Badoo before. We need to get a worm pull at some point. Oh, Sushi grew to uh, level 16. Spyro's grown to level 22. That's good. Chansey, what, what use are you? That's good. Alright. Yeesh. Um... It's not going to matter. I may as well just use a flame wheel. There you go. Defeated. Okay.
Oh, here we go. Oh, we got Lass. I'm assuming Lass. And a bug trainer. So we're going against two people at once. Lass Brianna and bug catcher Jack. If I'd have only managed to get seen by one of those, would I still have had to fight both? It's quite an interesting thought. Okay, we're going to use that against Wormpool. Forgot I need, um, need to make a new friend in Pokemon Go for a quest. Hey, if you like, I will give you my friend code, if that's any use to you. I can start up Pokemon Go in a moment and give you my friend uh, friend code, if that's, uh, if that's what you'd like as well. Okay, is that thing... Oh, he's using a beauty fly. Another bug type that I'm going to destroy in one hit. Yeah? Not a problem. Uh, at the moment it's that dragon thing going on, isn't it? Um, let me get my add friend thing up. Right, so I'm going to type it in chat for you. Oh, owl leveled up to 19. Uh, so 7914 There you go. Feel free to add that one. That's my my uh, Pokemon Go account. Uh, I will be quite honest with you. I don't play it an awful lot anymore. I used to play it quite a lot with a group of friends. But uh, that group kind of stopped grouping kind of thing uh, a couple of friends went uh, and moved to another country so we don't see them um, and a couple of other things generally got in the way you know the usual life Right, XP, we never got any levels up there, that's fine. So, bug catcher Jack, uh, are you defeated? Critical hit. Okay, we're going to take out um, Pacharisu. We're going to use this power up punch. Take it down in one, come on. Oh, we were close. Chansey, finish it off. Chansey, finish it off. There we go. There you go, V. I've accepted that for you. send you a gift there you go right so that should have your quest done for you okay Dwayne the Geodude Johnson has leveled up to 19 and Sonata grew to level 16 I don't know what level Sonata uh, will evolve. I think it's going to be like 20 something, at a guess. Oh, you. Bugs me when people ignore the awesome coolness of bug Pokemon. Eh, give, just give me your money. Mm, Paralyze heal. Okay, so another double fight. When a trainer and a Pokemon bond as one, a wondrous power is born. 
I see it. I see it. I see you going down in defeat. So is one supposed to be a psychic? Oh, they're both psychics. Okay. Elijah and uh, Trainer Shell. So. Okay, looks like we're using Flame Wheel. There's no differences between these Abras, so that's fine. Okay, energy ball. That's fine, aim it at Chansey. It's okay if Chansey gets defeated. Not my Pokemon. <laughs> does that sound cruel? I don't think it does. But Abra's down in one. Psychic Elijah and Psychic Lindsay, you have been defeated. Okay, we got 1,560 for winning. That's a decent payout for a day's work. To be fair, Chansey is a bigger target here. <laughs> yeah. But Chansey's also uh, a tank. Full on tank. Super effective. Uh, we'll get rid of the level 11 because they're stronger. Down in one. I bet you Chansey can't do them down in one. Not with their moves. Sure as anything isn't defeating anything with a tail whip. A cool whip. A tail whip. Ah. Yep, super effective. Okay, Wimple defeated. My senses tingle. I've spotted a rare Pokemon. Ooh, have I just found it one on one? Yes, I have. Love it. Oh, Burmy's the grass type version. Or the, the grass type version of Burmy. I think there's a couple of different versions of it. Because there's a pink one, I think. Quicky tune, another bug type. I was really surprised to see how soon Cricketune would evolve. Sorry. Cricketot? I think it only evolved at like level 10 or something. Maypole grew to level 20. Spyro went to level 23. He seems a bit sad about that. Okay, here's the other guy. Challenged by Bud Catcher Philip. Okay, let's get another ember in place because that wormpool will be easy to defeat. So nobody's leveled up that time. Dustox? Uh, no, I feel like that's also going to be a bug type. Well, he's a bug catcher, of course he is. 
Is this one of the other ones that evolves from like Cascoon or something? Down in one. Um, okay, so Owl is around level 20. And Sushi is at level 17. Uh, no, we're not going to switch. Okay, right, we are. Sh I am struggling now. Um, not good. As much as I would really love to keep on going, I am starting to struggle a lot. So let's see if we can't rush the last little bit of this. I need to get that Pokeball before I move on to the next bit. Anything in here? Possibly there's a fight there. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, a Baneeri. Okay. Well. I'm going to use the power up punch on Baneeri. Down in one. Excellent. We are 13 levels higher. Sonata grew to level 17. Come on, let's get more on Sushi. Disarming voice doesn't do enough. So we'll just see if we can quickly get through this uh, bit of the forest and then I'm going to take us on a raid. Um, I've got one person, uh, two, pa two people at the moment that I'm interested in um, raiding. One of them is Tio and the other one is Holly Lynn. Uh, Holly Lynn's playing Gas Station Simulator and Tio's playing For the King. Um, I kind of would like to go and see Tio, but you never, you know, um, we'll see how it's going when we get to that point shortly. Um, how many event Pikachus? Yeah, I had tons of event Pikachus at one point. Um, I used to just keep one of them at level uh, three or per, sorry, three stars or perfect. And then just get rid of, of all the rest of them. V, what would you say is your best Pokemon that you've got on go? Just out of interest. Like what's your go-to Pokemon every time? I was half expecting that to do a lot more damage. It didn't do very much at all. Ooh, a lot of damage to Chansey. Uh-oh, weakness. Go in, Meditite. Right, so if Sonata attacks me... There's a chance I'm going to take a lot of damage. Huh, Sonata. If the Psyduck attacks me. Oh, that's how we like to see it. Right, we're going to use the power up punch this time. Metagross? Okay. I think I only ha I think I've only got two Metagross. One of them's a shiny, and one of them's um a purified perfect or it might be a matang waiting to be purified 
not waiting to be waiting to be evolved. Uh, but for me, um, my go-to at the moment is a Mewtwo. Um, currently, as a best friend, best buddy. Let me have a quick look. So if I go by CP, yeah, so I've got uh, a 96% Mewtwo um, at, when I power it up. Oh, even to max it out, it's still going to cost me 118 candies. So yeah, um, it's costing me 10 candies to level up. Uh, a Mewtwo every single time but 96% 3887 when it's not uh, as my current buddy and 3900 something 100% IV Piplup I've got a couple of 100% let me see what my 100% are 4 star Okay, yeah, I've got a purified Metagross currently at 3,033 CP. It's 15 CP, oh dear. I've, I've got an uh, Agron perfect at 3,000 CP dead on. I refuse to power it up anymore because I don't want that to change. And I have 1,500 Aaron candies to go with that. Um, I have a perfect uh, Pyro female at 2,491. Uh, perfect Alolan Golem at 2,486. Uh, a purified Ursaring at 100%. Um, these were purified as well before I knew that shadow Pokemon at almost perfect are actually stronger than purified but too late by then perfect Gyarados um, what's that? Landorus? Thunderous? Perfect Thunderous uh, perfect uh, Kiram my other three hundred percent are Kimeko, Probopass, and Galarian Zigzagoon. Ooh, Galarian Zigzagoon. Um, I've got a perfect uh, purified Mischievous. Not Mischievous. What's its evolution? Whatever Mischievous evolution is, I can't think of its name because I've renamed it as hundred um, percent. I've got a perfect Latias. Perfect ben, uh, Bennett. Uh, perfect Tim, Timber Conkulder. Conkulder, I think it is. The third one. Uh, a perfect Purified Magma. Uh, Buizil. Not Buizil. The Evolution version of Weasel. Miss Magus, yes. Uh, a Lunaton. A Purified Hypno. Uh, whatever Frillish evolves into. And most recently, um, a Cheruby. Uh, a Spritzy, and that's it. I've got a decent list of 100%, but those were all while uh, playing with the big group of friends. So it's like um, a, a couple of the perfect ones came from a couple of uh, legendary raids that we all used to do. Oh, that one was an easy fight. I was expecting that to go a lot worse. Buneary and Wormpull again. Boop, beep, beep, beep. Right, so let's get uh, Flame Will against Wormpull instantly. It's a shame they don't have moves that attack all at the moment. 
It's like that Chansey has got moves that attacks all. Ooh, Dwayne the Geodude Johnson. Level 20, but not doing anything else. I have a handful of legendaries are close to 100% from raids. Yeah, same. Um, I've had a few at 96 and 98%. Um, but majority of them, early on, majority of them were all like really low end three star. Uh, we're talking like 70, uh, like high 70, uh, low 80s. Uh, power up punch for Buneary. But at one point, I had so many legendaries from doing the raids, it was unbelievable. Uh, only started playing Pokemon more because college campuses are the best for Pokemon Go. Yeah, and you'll probably find there's quite a lot of people playing them on college campus as well. Whether they all admit it or not is a different story. Oh, Pokemon in the grass or Pokeball in the grass. Jar of Honey. Okay. Raid Hour was a blast. Um, I don't know what the current Raid Hour is. Oh. We're through. There's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Mr. Matt. You're welcome. Thanks for the fights. Uh, the helping fights. Um... Eterna Forest. Okay, so there's a there's another way back into Eterna Forest. Okay. Do I fight these guys or do I just leave them alone? Let's let's talk to one. Sit back and fish casually. It's a grown-up's hobby. I landed myself a feisty trainer. Let's go. Okay, so not all of them fight. Goldeen, you can take a power-up punch because I know that a flame wheel's not going to do very much. That's good. Let's get a scratch attack in. This is going to hurt. Yep. Get that scratch to finish it off. Well done, well done, well done. No level up. That's fine, pal. Don't worry about it. Okay. Another fight. Nothing's biting, so I could use a break, I suppose. Currently, it's Reshiram and Zekrom. Oh, I want, a, I want them. I want a Reshiram and a Zekrom. I'm going to have to go on uh, Reddit or something like that and see if I can get a couple of raid groups in. Because Reshiram was out literally like a month or two before my raid group originally got started and so I wasn't able to actually catch one which is a shame Pokemon gained experience points I got both last week while stuck on campus for 12 hours. Holy Jesus. Well, there is actually a Reshiram near me. The problem is teams. Oh, well. It's okay. There'll be more left for the rest of the week. I'll get a chance. But for the moment, it's not the end of the world. Fisher Andrew is about to send out Magikarp. We need at least five people to beat a level five raid. Yeah, well, you say that. There's been a couple um, of raids where me and a couple of the people in the groups beat them with three and four. 
Uh, there was one of them. I can't even remember which one it was. We beat it with two of us. But majority of them now are all uh, tanks, really. But yeah, most of them, you need five people minimum. Um, I wanted to get Mega Gyarados, but um, you need a group of six minimum to actually get a decent uh, chance of beating it in time. And every single time I tried to get a group uh, in, it had hit six and one of them would leave and it's like, well, you're just screwing us over, dude. Costs us um, the passes to be able to keep going back in. And some would leave at the last second. Well, these Magikarps are really going down quick. I wonder why. Couldn't be anything to do with about being nearly 10 levels above everything. No switching. Keep your Magikarps coming. 13 levels above Magikarp. Oh dear. You wouldn't put Magikarps out for your fight at level 10. They don't learn tackle until level 15. Has he got a full team of Magikarp? Attack Rose. Is that another Magikarp? This, this dude's kind of being a bit weird right now. Why would you carry so many Magikarp about? Okay, that was it. Any lucky Pokemon? Yes! I, uh, I've just closed it down. Um... I've probably got about 10 or 12. Did you know, V, any Pokemon that you have from 2000, like when the game originally released, 2016, um, if you trade it with somebody, it's almost guaranteed to become a lucky trade. Ooh, a battle. Challenged by Fisher Zachary. Um, I think it might have been... What did I get those? I've had quite a few lucky Pokemon. Still have a lot of old Pokemon from back then. Yeah, if you happen to have one old Pokemon from then that you just really, really want to um, get as a lucky, or you really want it to be a decent Pokemon, you should be able to trade it out uh, uh, and make it a lucky. How many lucky Pokemon have you got at the moment? Usually the guarantee goes away once you've had uh, 10 or more lucky Pokemon. Three. Yeah, so you should be able to get a guaranteed lucky from 2016. Two from sheer luck. So if you can find somebody to trade with, tell, uh, get them to give you something that you want, even if it's just a low-end Pokemon that you want as a really high-end Pokemon, or just a legendary from back then, it should almost guarantee being a lucky. And it on, only one of them has to be from 2016. Hmm? Yeah, we'll just get rid of these Goldeen. He's only got two. The other one going to be a Goldeen or a Magikarp? Yep, knew it would be a Magikarp. Defeated! Gave my dad a lucky scissor when I stole an Absol from his account. <laughs> oh, Spyro's at level 24. Yeah. You, you want to see if you can um, get a legendary from him if you can. And just send a 2016 Pokemon over. 
see if it'll give you some uh, uh, a good lucky Pokemon. Ooh, grass. A buizel. Get all these berries. Let's plant a berry. No, I, I don't know how important it is to plant berries right now. Town bug catcher, you've got a bike. Have you seen our building? Team Galactic is so stinking rich that we can have one built instantly. Ah, Charizard from 2016. Oh, see, that's one that you want to get traded over, get it as a three star, and then mega evolve it. Let's dig up some treasure. Mining museum. <laughs> you may uncover dark rocks. They are very hard if you keep hitting them. The wall will collapse. Keep that in mind and you'll be digging up treasure in no time. Okay. First one to start to digging out the grand underground. I am. You can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and uh, put it to good use. Oh, we've got an explorer kit. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know what it does yet. Just follow my lead. Okay, we're following this guy. First, go to the Grand Underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply use your explorer kit. Can't be used indoors or in a cave. Now give it a try. Oh wow, um, I... Okay, it's rock. This is a network of tunnels, caves and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Oh, what am I doing down in this expanse of a place? It's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man in the turn of city to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember why. Okay. Got to get going. Okay, so... They said something about hitting... Rocks and stuff. Okay. That's it. I didn't expect there to be that Shellos thingy. What's it called? Gastrodon. Let's get a good fight out. Oh, level 19. This is going to be a big fight. It's only five levels below me. This should be decent XP. Uh oh. Um, let's go to Maypole. May not be as effective as I'd like it to be, but it's better than nothing. Someone surprised she had traded a shiny Gastrodon in Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield shortly after the Pokemon Home launch. Oh, okay. Okay. 65... 14. Let's take the spark. Doesn't affect it. Oh, okay. 
What type is Gastrodon? Maple! Oh, it healed itself at some point. Water and ground type. Yeah, that's why it's not working. See, I don't know enough about um, some of these ones. Bite will do a bit of damage, though, at least. Shame about Harden. It's grind weak against uh, water. I can't remember. I can't be. It should. Okay, well, Maple's uh, unaffected by Fisher, so if I start having any troubles, I'll switch over to uh, Sonata and I'll use a Water Pulse. Only got to get one more hit in. One. Yes, there we go. Whew. Okay, so Maple leveled up to 21. Sushi leveled up to level 18. And Sonata leveled up to level 18 too. That's going well. Sonata wants to learn the move Zen Headbutt. Let's have a look at it. 80 with a 90 accuracy. I feel like I could do with getting rid of Fury Swipes because it's um, not really that good. Right. Um, I don't know where I am right now. Uh, I want to go up. I want to go back to the surface. Yes, please return me. Hey, thanks for having me. Taking a red sphere S, a blue sphere S, and a green sphere S. There are apparently some Pokemon in the Grand Underground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a no new Pokemon is 100 times more fun when it's a rare one. Your road to being a Spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. Lovely. Uh, we need the Pokemon Center though. Fun fact, Pokemon Go has implemented the same mechanics to evolve Inke. Which one was the uh, Inke mechanics? Because I got an Inke, I think, but I never did anything with it. I didn't even try to evolve it. Okay, full health. Uh, let's see if we can find the gym. If we can get into the gym and fight, then great. If not, we're calling it. Is that the mart? Oh no, this is the gym. Plant Pokemon. Oh, plant. We're on to a winner. You have to turn your device upside down to evolve it like in the original game. Wow, okay. At my gym, no one gets to battle with all the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. Fine by me. I will fight everybody. Holy bejeebus. So a forest uh, roaming for trainers. So they've made a maze. Um. Uh. 
Oh, hold on. I just ran past one. How did you know where to find me? Let's have our battle. <laughs> yes, it was very hard to find you, lass, Caroline. Cherubi. We defeated Cherubi before. I will head you in with an ember. Take them down nice and quickly. Easy. No, we're not going to switch. We're going to carry on. Oh, it's a Roselia. Okay. I've got a shiny Roselia with the black rose. Looks kind of cool. Okay, Owl up at 21. Hmm. Okay, so we've... Uh, next trainer's at the end, past two boulders, I think. Oh, there you are. Uh, one to one so badly, but missed both community days for it. Oh. I don't think I got one on a community day. Roma Lady Jenna. Jenna, sorry. We need to get through these fights. I'm about to drop. Ooh. Well, oh, let's get through these fights before I drop. They don't spawn often enough near me. Yeah. Keep going. Fire attacks. Um, what you should do, V, um, and it, it sounds silly, but having your phone and, say, for example, your dad's phone on Pokemon Go nearly all the time around where you live will increase over time the chances of more Pokemon appearing. Um, I d it's the way it works. It works off of the amount of uh, activity in your, in your area. So if there's only one person comes by every now and again to try and catch something, then you're not going to get many. But if you've got two that are there at all times, you, you increase the uh, amount that appear over time. If you can find a way to just keep the game on when you're not using the phones, then it will increase it over time. It took a good six months before it started really picking up in my area. But I have two. F I had two phones that were playing Pokemon, um, Pokemon Go, and it was after about five, six months or so, it, it started increasing the amount. I get about four or five new ones on my doorstep now, compared to one in the whole area, and it wasn't even near where I was, uh, where I live. It was like slightly off in that direction. Since I'm at the end of the semester and home for a month, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, so you want to keep doing that as much as you can. Uh, in the middle of the tree, three trees, that's it for my hint. I think I know where that one is. Come on, there you are. I wonder how many trainers there are I have to defeat. Sorry, I'm just going to open the door a second. One moment. Right. 
I do so happen to have an old phone with an alt account. Yeah, get it running as much as you can. Get them running, just sit in there. Whether you're catching something with it or not, it shows that there's uh, activity in that area. And the more that the activity is going in your area, the sooner that they'll increase uh, the amount that spawns. Super effective Ember. Goodbye, Turtwig. Okay, defeating Lady Aroma. Beside four flowers. You found me, of course I'll battle you. <laughs> Alas. Beauty Lindsay. With a Rosalia. Yeah, looks like we're going to stick with the fire moves again. Just use the other fire moves though this time. Might get a couple of levels or two. Yep, see, Spyro's at level 25 already. Absolutely rocketing up. Mm, Beauty gave us a lot of money for one fight. Okay, just the gym leader left. I like it. Okay, let's go with the gym leader. And then we have defeated. And we're one step closer to catching up with Maple. Who's going to the ocean town next. You kept me waiting. I'm Eterna's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass-type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Okay. Cherube. Good start. Let's battle with Ember. Nice, simple move. It's not too overpowering. Um, Maple grew to level 22. We're not going to switch. Hold on for a moment, sorry. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry about that. Just needed to deal with something for a moment. Okay, Ember, this Turtwig will get it out of the way. Sonata grew to level 19. Okay, Gardenia's about to use Roserade. Okay, we're going for the evolution fights. Here we go. Take this ember. Only a half effective. A grass knot? Ow! Oh, 
Oh, using a berry, are you? Are you saying something? You think you might have me cornered? Well, Rosarade's down. Rosarade fainted. Oh, Maple grew to level 22. No, no, not Maple. Owl grew to level two, 22, my apologies. And Sushi grew to level 19. Oh my gosh. Why is there so many of those idiots coming through? Sushi level 19. One more level and Sushi is going to be a dragon. Although technically um, Gyarados isn't a dragon. It's water flying. Might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? No, it was fair easy actually. I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Hey look, a green badge. The forest badge from Gardenia. With the forest badge, the hidden move cut will be available from your Poke Edge. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you received in trades will obey you up to level 30. I've also got something else for you. These are a gift from me. Stickers! We got some stickers! And TM86s. Um, grass Knot. Okay. The heavier the opposing Pokemon, the more damage it'll cause. Oh, okay. That's some good news. Okay. I would like to just point out that we've now defeated the second gym. And this is now time for us to go on a quick raid. Um, who do we go to? Do we go to Tio? I think I, I think Tio is probably the person to go to at the moment. Let me just check who else. Oh no! Even better, V. Uh, if you're still here, we're gonna raid Sassy. Sassy has just gone live, so I'm gonna go in for a raid with Sassy. Okay, what I'm going to say is thank you very much for being here with me. Um, I know it's only been a little bit of training and stuff like that, but it's been good fun. And if you don't mind, please use uh, one of the raid messages. There we go. And say hello to sassy if you haven't seen sassy before they do an off uh, a lot of um horror games um generally have a very good laugh very good to talk to as well so i i hope you enjoy watching them okay um otherwise i'll see you next time v thank you for being here thank you to everybody that's lurking as well and i'll catch you next time okay